This is a follow-up video for that Sony EVC3 8mm video deck that we did all the capacitors on in the prior video. I neglected to clean the mode switch as I wanted to do it as a separate video, but I did notice when I was uh, working on this one that the mode switch is showing signs that it does need to be cleaned. So this is a quick way to clean a mode switch on one of these or any of these mechanisms that are like that. Now how we know the mode switch is bad, if we watch it on eject, watch, it will hesitate. So hit the eject button and it kind of hesitates there for a second. That's a good indication the mode switch needs to be cleaned. To access the mode switch on this little unit, we're gonna remove the bottom cover and swing out the circuit board. It should be under the uh, servo board. I remember correctly because this is the same as a camcorder uses and we can swing out this board here use my nifty little camcorder screwdriver for this one and I'm also going to remove this bracket Our mode switch is right down here on this one. Uh, it's right here. And to get at it, all I need to do is loosen a couple more screws, or one screw anyway, and I should be able to access the mode switch. right down under here <clears throat> if I want to swing this board out of the way I can unplug this black connector and the, the mode switch lives right down there it's controlled by this arm there there's the switch and it's not, it's not a real easy one to get out because it's soldered in place. So typically what we do is we just give it a shot of cleaner into the switch itself. Just like that. That's generally all it needs. It's a little shot of neutral or deoxid or whatever cleaner you're planning on using. Lock the circuit board back in place and put the one retaining screw in. Put our bracket back on. Pull back in the circuit board. Two screws to hold the board in and the four screws to hold the bottom on. And that's how you clean the mode switch 
on one of these little EVC3 eight millimeter players. I should note that the EVS 2000 and the EVS 3000, which is the deck I did last week, uses the same mechanism as this. And it's just as easy to clean once you get at it. You just got to swing a board out of the way on those ones as well. And uh, it's basically the same. It's the same mechanism. The procedure is exactly the same. And any of those cameras, like the F40 and the F30 and F401 and all those, same thing. But those cameras themselves are mostly dead because of all the bad caps in them. So I don't expect too many people would be fixing an old camera like that just due to the, the sheer number of capacitors that go bad in them. Then I'll load a tape and operate through the different uh, modes a couple times. That'll clean up that switch. As I say, the switch itself wasn't uh, showing real signs that it was dirty. But because this thing's been sitting so long without operation, it's just something that really should have been done on it. Okay, audio video output. So now we're just going to go through the different modes. To ensure that the switch is activated a few times to allow the cleaner to do its job. This thing's got a really nice freeze frame too. It's almost perfect. I would say it is perfect. Take a look at the freeze frame. As you can see, the freeze frame is excellent. Go back to play. Forward search. Reverse search. Now generally how you can tell the mode switch may need attention on a camcorder or any of these mechanisms like this, but this was very common in camcorders, is when you're loading and ejecting, if it doesn't do it smoothly, see, that's how it's supposed to do it. If it's hesitating and the transport's moving back and forth a bit, uh, like you saw when I ejected the tape on the prior video, 
Uh, that's how I knew the mode switch needed attention. But see, I did it as a separate video on here just because I wanted to show how that how the, the mode switch was serviced and kind of break it up into a couple of videos as opposed to one great big long one because the other one was was a long video. It was, what, 45 minutes or so? And it could have gone longer had I not cut some of it out. So I figured I would just do it on two separate videos. So there you go. This one here, to say, gotta like it. And it's cool. Little eight millimeter decks. They're so cool. You know, I've got I've got a video Walkman as well, an eight millimeter um, digital eight video Walkman. You guys have seen it. I've serviced it, and I've got the mini DV uh, or HDV Walkman with the flip up screen as well on it. And yeah, okay, but they don't have the cool factor of this because this one just this one just looks cool. And for for those wondering, what was the intended market for these machines? The intended market for this was actually the airline industry. They built these into you know. 737s, 747s, whatever they were flying of the day for the uh, in-flight movies. This is what this is what these little machines were actually designed for. Was uh, the airline industry used a lot of these? They were expensive when these sold. You could buy them at a Sony dealer, but they were expensive. As I say, the airline industry is the ones that really use these a lot for the in-flight movies. Sony was pushing eight millimeter pre-recorded tapes and I've, I've got one I've got one called a few good men I'm sure you've probably heard of it but I have a few good men on um, eight millimeter anyway that's how it is supposed to work we'll catch you in the next one bye